Hey friends, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do this cute braided twist hairstyle. So first I'm gonna spray her hair with the spray bottle and I'm not spraying it too much, just lightly. So I'm gonna create my first part and I'm using the arch of her eye as my guide and I'm gonna part it at an angle, just like coming kinda behind her ear. And then I'm gonna put one side in a ponytail until I'm ready to work with it. And this is how I made the part. And now I'm just gonna create a triangle part by starting at the center of her head and then just creating that part going down diagonally. So now I'm just gonna get a ponytail in the part, but first I'm gonna use some of this passion fruit control paste on her edges before I get that ponytail in there. This is exactly like the blueberry bliss control paste, but this is called passion fruit. And then I'm gonna spray her hair because her hair was getting too dry. And then I'm gonna grab my wide tooth comb and just comb out all the knots in it. And also I'll get my fine tooth comb and just, I'm not gonna comb it all the way through the hair, just halfway up, just to make sure that there's no knots in it as well. Just this makes her ponytail just look nicer and sleeker. And you probably notice I used two rubber bands instead of one just because her hair is like a lot thicker. With Safari's hair, I can just use one, but with hers, I usually use two rubber bands when the rubber bands are pretty thin. And then I'm just gonna do the exact same thing to this ponytail, everything that I did by moisturizing it, then using the wide tooth comb, the fine tooth comb, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of the passion fruit control paste on the edges, but not throughout the whole hair, just on the edges, and then I get that ponytail in there. So now we're gonna work on parting the other side, and this is the second time that I've done this hairstyle, friends, and both times the parting is different, and I feel like Every time I do this hairstyle, the parting won't be the same. I just kind of just went with, um, I don't know, went with the flow, I guess. But I didn't want the parts to be in line with each other or I just wanted them to look funky and cool. So this is, this is what I'm doing, but I just wanted to show you guys step by step in case someone wanted to part it exactly like this for the first time and then, you know, the second time that you do it you will just see that you can just really part it any way that you want, any way that you think will look good. So now I'm just gonna get a ponytail in there and I'm just gonna speed up all the ponytail parts because I know you already know how to do that because you've already seen me do it a couple times. And yeah, but I did the same exact steps in every single ponytail. So now we're on to parting the back part and just make sure that you're spraying the hair a couple sprays if it gets too dry. And now I am just creating a part back here. And then I'm just gonna let the video speak for itself while I am parting. I think it's more easier for you guys to just see it rather than me try to explain where I'm parting. So friends, I got a couple of requests to do a Q&A video and I thought it'd be really cool to do because we haven't done one of those yet. So if you have any questions you would like answered from us, me, Sakura, hopefully Safari will answer some of your questions as well. Leave them in the comments below. So another thing friends, while you're watching the parting game happening, um, can you guys tell like my parting is a more amazing than it's ever been I feel like but I was watching like beauty can braid that YouTube channel and um, Joyce Justice and Some other cool youtubers who do their little ones hair and they don't moisturize their little ones hair as much as I moisturize mine So I thought let me try it out Just make sure that it's all nice and detangled and I do make sure that I spray it still with some water but less than I usually do and the parting game is on point friends so if you if I've been teaching you wrong and you've been spraying it like crazy and then parting it try it this way I think you will be pretty happy with the results and we are finished with the parting so now we're gonna braid and twist the hair and what I did is I just split the hair in half and then I made braids in both halves of these ponytails. You wanna make sure the hair is all nice and moisturized and detangled before you get those braids in there. Thank you. 
And then I just took those two braids and I just created a twist. And then at the end, I left a little bit of hair and I used some of my shea butter mixture and I just put it on the ends and then I created a braid. I didn't twist it all the way to the bottom. I just braided it there just so that it the twist wouldn't come out easy. And then I added an elastic. You might not even need to add an elastic. You could put like a little bit of gel at the end and just create a nice curl like I did right there. So I just went ahead and finished all those braids and twists off camera. So we're not finished just yet. <laughs> what I did was I grabbed some of the passion fruit curl control paste and I just got those edges, cleaned them up a bit. And then I'm going to add these cute gold balls for some added cuteness. And my sister-in-law bought these for me, but if you check out samsbeauty.com, they have some really cute accessories for like really cheap price, but that's if you live in the US, like the shipping is really amazing. If you live internationally, the shipping is a little bit more. And now I'm just gonna show you all what we did at nighttime. I took out all the hairballs, and then I cut all those elastics out. And then those back ponytails, I just kind of loosened with my hands the hair so that it's not like tugging at the scalp. And then for the front part, I'm gonna take out the style because Sakura has pretty sensitive edges and I'm going to put some castor oil in it and rub it in for, you know, I try to do it for about five minutes. And yeah, you might not need to do this if your little one's edges are not as sensitive as Sakura's, but I always find that she gets the bumps on the edges when I put a tight style. So I make sure to do the extra work and to do that Especially since I'm the one that likes to get these cute styles in. I don't want to mess up her edges for when she is older. And I just wanted to keep the parts because the next day we had to get up early and get out of the house. So I had these parts done and ready for me to just put the style back in. And it just took about five to 10 minutes to do. And then I put a cap over her head and I'm still looking for a satin cap. I really haven't took the time out to look for one, but I do want to get one of those. So my friends, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you are not subscribed to our channel, subscribe for more tutorials. We love you friends. Bye.